All right, map kids, welcome back to Burt's Basics. I'm Peter Burt. I teach at Box Elder High School. I teach uh, medical anatomy and physiology, and today we're starting to tackle muscles. So once again, I hope these videos help you out. Watch them again and again and again, right before a quiz or something. Just go through them. So today we're covering three standards. Um, pretty basic ones, except maybe the end might get you. So we're going to do the uh, general functions. Okay, there's six of them, I think. Okay, there's four characteristics of muscles and three types of muscles. This is the number lesson. So let's get started. When we talk about functions of muscles, I think almost everyone gets uh, the main ones, but there's a couple that catch people off guard. So this one is a good one. Boop, boop. This one's posture. Okay, muscles help us sit straight up in our chair. They help us be good. The only way that you can actually understand this is if you've ever seen someone pass out in class because all of a sudden, whoa, the skeletal muscles relax and they slide out of the cha uh, chair like a, you know, like a jelly worm or something like that. So we have posture is one of the functions. Okay. We have this as another one of their functions. Now, we have done this before in this class. Do you, if you guys remember homeostasis, we had two different types of homeostasis. We had positive feedback and we had negative feedback. Now, remember, negative feedback was the most common. That's when if something goes out of homeostasis, our goal is to bring it back down. Okay. Positive feedback was kind of a little bit weird because if something goes a stress out of homeostasis, we kind of have to go a little bit further to get us back to homeostasis so it enhances or supports it. So if you guys remember, if our body temperature gets low, okay, so you can see over here our body temperature gets low, you know, the muscles begin to shiver and that is the function we want right there and that is creating heat. Now in this class, you know and I know that creating heat is too simple, so they throw in the word thermogenesis okay thermogenesis is just a fancy word for creation of heat that's another function of muscles okay third one is protection okay if we look at these these are our abdominal muscles okay so if you look if i'm going to hurt the abdomen man how many of these muscles do i need to go through quite a few so this is a nice thing about muscles as well as they also offer protection okay Hoo -yah! okay i like this one okay Everybody was kung fu fighting, okay? The next one that we want muscles is, obviously, is movement, okay? So let's go through them again so far. So far, we've done posture. We've done thermogenesis. We've done uh, protection of organs. We've done movement, okay? Movement, I like this guy. Look at that high kick. Okay, this is the only one that catches people off guard. If you look at blood vessels and other organs of the body, they are, tend to be lined with muscles. Now, there's different kinds of muscles. So this is a smooth muscle. We'll talk about it in just a second. But there is pressure here. And the pressure is pushing on the wall of these arteries and veins, Okay, mostly arteries. Okay? That pressure has to be contained. So in your detailed notes, you're going to see this. It says maintains volume of hollow organs. Okay. That is one of the characters of muscles. It basically keeps things in check. So your stomach, if you eat a ton, your stomach's going to stretch, stretch, stretch. But the muscles help maintain that volume of that stomach. Every once in a while, unfortunately, this pressure can be so strong, it can overcome this function of muscles, and it can create a bulge in this blood vessel. That bulge is called an aneurysm. So when muscles don't maintain the volume, Usually there's a problem associated with it. Okay, so I hope you feel good with those uh, functions of muscles. Let's go to the next one. So now we're going to do characteristics of muscles, okay? Now, once again, this might seem a little weird if you haven't taken an anatomy class, but I'm just going to try to make it as easy as possible. If I'm a muscle, I have to, by law, follow four rules. I have to have all four of these. So what happens if I only have two of them? Well, then I'm not a muscle. I got to have all four of these, okay? The problem is they all sound exactly alike, okay? So let's take a peek. There's four of them, okay? Let me move my cute face. So these are the names of the four characteristics we have to have. We have to have contractility or flexion, excitability, extensibility, and elasticity. And I know why this is so crappy. They all, a lot of them start with the letter E. So let's take one thing at a time. Let's start with contractility. It has the word contract in it. And you guys know what happens when something contracts. It gets shorter. And that's what contractility is. If I'm a muscle, I have to, have to, have to, have to, have to, have to have the ability to shorten. In uh, sports medicine, we call that flexion. Flexion is whenever I decrease an angle. So I'm 180 degrees, 90, 45. That is flexion or contractility. Okay. So if I have the ability to contract or to shorten, I got to have the other ability as well, 
which is down here at this bottom one. This is extensibility. I have to have the ability to stretch, okay? So if my biceps is flexion right now, contractility, I have to be able to stretch him as well, and that's called extensibility, okay? I'm going to save this one for last because this is by far the hardest one. So let's go up here to excitability, okay? The way that muscles work is when we talk about the nervous system, we're going to talk about what's called a nerve impulse or a.k.a. a fancy electric shock, okay? Muscles have to respond to stimulus. So if I take a cattle prod and I zap a chunk of fat, fat tissue will not respond to the electricity stimulus, but muscles will. That's why tasers are so cool. If you get tased, I promise you, your muscles will be excitable and you will feel it, okay? So here's the last one that gets everybody. And if you're watching this video, I'm telling you right now, this is the number one one, number one one, one one I'm going to use on the quiz because it's hard okay elasticity now everyone thinks elasticity is when you stretch something that's not elasticity when you stretch something that's called extensibility okay that's this one down here extensibility oh that's horrible okay that's the ability to stretch notice what elasticity is elasticity begins when you let go as soon as you let go, the muscle returning to its original state, uh, original shape, is elasticity, okay? So you can flex it, you can extensibility, extend it, but then as soon as you relax it, oh, it should go back to being elastic. Now, the only way you know if you've lost elasticity is when you extensibility stretch it too far, which is called the almighty hyper extension and i promise you you will not have elasticity and you will feel it okay so those are my four characteristics of muscles all muscles have this your heart has it your foot has it uh your diaphragm has it all four muscles have it okay let's go on to the uh, next one. Oh, here's a picture of it which you guys can look at on your own okay all right <coughs> excuse me all right so now let's go ahead and do my last category these are kind of tough too if you haven't studied these before there are three types of muscle tissue, okay? They're called skeletal, smooth, and cardiac. If you guys want to be successful in this, I'm not kidding, pause the video right now and make this flipping chart in your notes, okay? That's what you have to do. So our chart is gonna basically have three types. So we're gonna put the muscle type down these ones, okay? And then we're gonna have what they look like down this one, okay? Whoops, sorry, they're horrible. How you control them down this one, Okay, and then where they're found on this one. So we're going to do one at a time. So let's start with skeletal muscle. Okay, if you look at skeletal muscle under a microscope, man, they have all these cool lines. Every time I show this, there's some people who say candy canes. Some people say it looks like salmon. I love all of those answers. They're all great. Okay, but this is what we call striped or has a striped appearance. Now, in the next video, we're going to explain why it's striped. But right now, all you need to know is it's striped. But unfortunately, we don't call it striped. Instead, we call it striated. So it has a striated appearance or a lined appearance. That's skeletal muscle. Okay. These are also voluntary. Voluntary means that you have conscious control over them. So now if you're thinking your body, man, where do I have muscles I have control over? It is every muscle you have ever learned. I would argue that 99% of the muscles you know are skeletal muscles. Okay, so if we're talking like chest and arm and leg, okay, and you know, my quads, my hamstrings, my pecs, my abs, okay, those are all skeletal muscles. The rule of thumb in anatomy, though, is a skeletal muscle is named skeletal for a reason, okay, it should attach to a bone. That's why they call it skeletal muscles. So these are voluntary. So if someone jumps out at you and you slap them, okay, you're like, oh, it was a reflex, I couldn't control it. That's a lie. You control all the muscles in your arm. And voila, you just smack them, okay? All right, let's do the next one. The next one is smooth muscles. Now, smooth muscles, they look like this. Now, you can see they're still muscle cells. They're a little spindle-shaped, but I'm missing the stripes. So we can't call it non-striped, okay? Even though if you did, I'd know what you're talking about. Instead, we use non-striated. No stripies on this guy. And one of the craziest things about these guys is this is involuntary. Involuntary means, don't say that it happens by itself. The brain still controls it. It's just you don't consciously have to control it, a.k.a. you don't have to think about it, right? It just happens on its own. So now let's see where these guys are found. They're found in lots of places, okay? My favorite joke of all time is you should try this one. Next time you're on a date, okay, if you're on a date, see your small, your intestines 
are all smooth muscle, okay? Your stomach is smooth muscle. There's your stomach right there. All blood vessels are smooth muscle, okay? Because you don't control those. I mean, do you really think about blood pressure in your arm? You don't, but you know that they maintain the volume of the of those organs, right? So they do a good job. But I'm telling you, on a date, next time, just do the following. Super funny, okay? When you're on a date, say, hey, you know, I've had a good time. You've had a good time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm out. My food's about to go from my stomach to my uh, to my small intestine. Just give me a second. got to push it out of my stomach. <sighs> okay? And watch your date's reaction. She'll be like, you have to think about that? And then you can play dumb and be like, you don't? Okay? Be grateful. You have smooth muscles. Smooth muscles control a lot of stuff in your body. And the nice thing is, is you don't have to consciously think about them. So if you look at this, this is your, your eye has some smooth muscles, like your iris, you know, your iris contracts and relaxes the diameter of your pupil changes without you thinking about it. Okay. That is involuntary. Now there's one trick on here. People are going to be like, oh, my heart, my heart, I don't think about. Eh, it's not a smooth muscle. If you remember, I got one more box. The last box you guys have is cardiac muscle. Cardiac muscle gets its own group. And if you don't remember from med term, cardiac does mean heart. So that's your heart muscle right there. Okay. So if we look at cardiac, this is why it's tricky. It is striated. Okay. But it's also involuntary. So it's kind of a hybrid of the both. It looks like a skeletal, acts like a smooth. Okay, and there's only one place it's found, and so help me, if you miss this, oh, I'm going to hurt you on the test. Boom! It's your heart, okay? Cardiac muscle is only found in your heart. Now, I'm going to try to trick you, okay? This is called your aorta. It's one of the largest arteries, okay, inside your body right here. That's your aorta. And I'm like, ooh, that's lined with cardiac muscle. And you know that's not true because you just wrote down in your notes, smooth muscles are arteries and veins. So even though it attaches to the heart, that's still an artery. It's lined with smooth. The only time you're going to find cardiac muscle is literally in the heart itself. Right atrium, right ventricle, left uh, atrium, left ventricle, septum, okay, blah, the heart. Okay, guys, that is your lesson for the day. I hope you learned something. So why don't you guys do this quick three-question review? Uh, remember, um, try hard. Study hard. Go above and beyond. Um, if you don't like that feeling of sitting down for the test and feeling overwhelmed, then Make sure it never happens again. Okay, answers coming up. Uh, pause it if you need to, and I will see you on the flip side. Thanks, guys.